Hello and welcome to the very first video series of the Food Press Tutorials. Uh, today, I, Michael Gamble, am going to show you guys how to download, install, and activate the Food Press plugin. So with that said, let's go to our Code Canyon account at the Envato Network and go to our downloads page. You'll notice you have the, co the Food Press plugin available for download once you have purchased it. Um, we're going to click on download and then click on all files and documentation. I'm then going to open that zip file and inside that zip file you will notice three items. The main one we are focusing on today is the food press underscore 1.1.8. So I'm going to drag that zip file into my directory where I know it's going to be later that I can upload it to WordPress. Close this out. I'm then going to go to our WordPress dashboard and we're going to visit our plugins page. You'll notice that I have the option to add a new plugin amongst the other great plugins that we have installed. So let's click add new. We're going to click upload and we're going to choose that file that we moved out of that zip file that we downloaded from Code Canyon. Make sure it does say food press. Uh, you don't want to upload the Code Canyon zip file because it will not work correctly. So let's double click that or click open and we will go ahead and install the plugin. It shouldn't be relatively long as it is a small plugin file. There you go. You'll notice that the plugin has been installed successfully. Foodpress 1.1.8. Let's activate the plugin from this window. And there we go. Thank you for purchasing Food Press version 1.1.8. Um, obviously, if this is video you're watching is old, you may have a newer version. So, uh, with that being said, now let's go to the Food Press tab, which has been created on your WordPress admin menu. You'll see a bunch of options. Um, and excuse me for moving my mouse around so much. Um, I just like to move the mouse around. Anyway, let's click on the Add-ons and Licenses tab since that's what we're focusing on at the moment. And you will notice that it says my food press license is activated. That's because I already had it installed and activated the license and it's keeping my license in the system, the database. So if I want to remove that, I can simply click Remove License. But for this demo, let's go ahead and show you guys where to find your license. Let's go back to our downloads page at Code Canyon where you have downloaded the food press plugin and let's click download license certificate and purchase code you'll notice that it is downloading uh, one thing I do want to throw out while we're here uh, Ashan and I do appreciate five star ratings so if you guys feel generous enough to give us some five star ratings we greatly appreciate it uh, the more five star ratings we get the harder we will work on this plugin to increase features and functionality and fulfill the requests that you guys have for anything that you may think is missing or if you guys have a really cool idea that you want integrated into the plugin uh, we're always happy to at least entertain the idea of adding that to the plugin so like I said the more five-star ratings we get the harder we will work for you guys uh, and we do appreciate it thank you much for your business so now let's open that text file and find out where our license code is here we go. You'll see that the obviously the author name is Ashan, my good friend. And uh, this is under my account, so it is my name. And here is the license code you need. It's actually the item purchase code. We're going to cop copy that code, and then you can close out of that window. I don't need to save that, I already have it. Let's go back to our WordPress page where the activation screen is for the food press plugin you will click on activate license or add license if yours is not already activated if you don't have a previous version installed so copy paste your code into the window hit activate you should get a success message letting you know that the key has been saved and verified um, it may take a few minutes to reflect that the code has been activated uh, it still might say not activated on the screen, but in fact, if you get that first message that said it has been verified, you should be good. 
Uh, again, this code is for the automatic updates for the plugin. So you don't have to worry about going every time to the Code Canyon page, downloading and replacing the plugin directory through your um, FTP. Uh, this will give you the link automatically to download and update the plugin. Um, the plugin does work without activating the license um, fully, but the only the, the option to activate the license is to get the automatic updates on the support. So uh, I do recommend activating the license. Uh, you'll notice on the screen some other cool things like the online ordering add-on and the single menu add-on. Uh, we'll cover those later, um, but I'm going to let you guys go so I don't take too much of your time. Keep things simple. And again, thank you for your purchase. Um, hope to hear from you guys if you have any questions or need any support. Take care.